going to go over the four deal rules? Anybody know what the four deal rules are? What is rule number one? Does anybody know what rule number one is? Rule number one is don't spend more money than you make. Rule number two, if you have debt, get it paid off by a specific date. Set the date. Okay, let's say for example that you owe, don't make it easy, $1,200. Okay, you want to get it paid off in a year? You divide it by 12 because there's 12 months in the year. You come up with $100. That's what you have to pay on the principal on the amount you owe every month to get that $1,200 gone in one year. If you can't come up with $100, you say, I can't come up with $100. No point in setting a goal you can't achieve. You also have to figure out the interest cost and add that to. Okay? And what I'm trying to get parents to do with their kids, and what I'm trying to get Canadians to do for themselves, is I'm trying to get them in the habit of saving some money. One dollar a day. Come on, guys. One dollar a day. Is that too much? No. That's $30 a month. You know what happens when you start saving a dollar a day? You move from being not a saver to being a saver. You change your perspective. The earlier you start, the less you have to save. If you wait until you're in your 40s to start saving for retirement, you have to save 18%. That's the RSP contribution limit. None of you are going to come close. Okay? At 40 years old, you're just going to be pulling your hair out. Kids are going to university and you're trying to get the mortgage paid off. And that's why nobody can come up with a full RSP contribution limit unless you need a bazillion dollars. Okay? But if you start in your 30s, you only have to come up with 10%. Remember David Chilton, wealthy barber? 10%. You only have to come up with 10% because you put more time on your side. Remember that compounding thing I mentioned? That's working for you. If you start in your 20s, how much do you have to save? Six. Close. Close. Six percent. Now, would you rather save six percent your whole life, or you want to wait until you're in your 40s and have to put away 80 percent? Rhetorical question. Another rhetorical question, right? No. Easy answer. That's the first three. Rule number four. I'm going to use a big word, mitigate your risks. Mitigate means to offset your risks. And you offset or mitigate your risks by having an emergency fund and by having enough and the right kind of insurance. Okay? If you believe you're going to get through this life without rain falling on your head, you are wrong. And an emergency fund is like an umbrella. It'll help you to stay dry. Okay? Because the thing about an emergency fund is it's there, cash in the bank, when you need it, it gives you options. 